seven five four. Seven five four total time. So was, that was a 727 total time. That was faster, 727. Flows a little better for me left to right. I, I go back and forth. I, I really enjoy right to left movement, um, just the way I can see the targets. With my non-dominant eye, what's coming next, um, I like to move and transition right to left. It goes against what most people that are right-hand dominant, um, they like to shoot things left to right. They like to move left to right. It's definitely more comfortable for a reload, but for whatever reason, I'm typically more comfortable moving and shooting transition-wise left or right to left. Um, and I, I basically uh, attribute that to my non-dominant eye being able to see what's coming next. So as my gun, although typically it's supposed to go up and to the right, my gun goes straight up and down. And that's due to my grip. Um, but as I'm moving, left to right, my gun goes up and my dominant eye can see what's coming, but it's more focused on the target and what my sights are doing. And as soon as it's list, I have to look to the next target. But my gun is also starting to move as soon as possible. And my left eye cannot look past it sometimes, especially depending on what the array and uh, what's going on. My non-dominant eye can't see that because I shoot with both eyes open as most of you probably do by now. Uh, but when I'm moving right to left, as those sights lift, as that shot breaks, I start to move my eyes. My, my non-dominant eye is still open because the gun's more on this side of my body. So I can actually see better with my non-dominant eye and my dominant eye uh, in my peripheral vision of what's coming next. So it's just more comfortable. That's what I found. And I've, I'm comfortable moving right to left um, just as I am left to right. So it just tends to be I look at things sometimes a little different. I'll run a stage a little bit different than most uh, if there's an option to go right to left, if it makes sense, of course. So this proved the opposite. I was faster uh, by a quarter second. Not really much, uh, but let's go look at my hits. I think my first run, I had all A's um, and one for one on the steel, but we'll walk around and look at these. So these targets that I start with, if I start over here, they're about... Uh, that's about 12 yards from where I'm shooting it. It's a little more than 10 from these poles. And that is definitely 12 uh, on that uh, eight inch plate. Um, so basically, I'll show you my view. I'm starting right here. I'm doing one step over so I can take this and back out on that. And then, uh, then I'm coming into these two poles where I can't take these targets until I pass this pole. So I come in, get my sights, go one, two, one, and then same with these two pulls. I see that, hit that, and hit that, and then I just run it backwards. So let's go look at the hits now, now that we've looked at what I'm shooting, or how I'm shooting it. So I got all alphas here. I've been pushing time, so I've hit some no-shoots um, through this process, and if you're not missing, if you're not pushing hard enough to miss, you're not pushing hard enough at all. So I don't, don't continue to miss. Figure out why you're missing, figure out where you're where you need to dial it back, but definitely be pushing until you miss. So this one, all alphas here, um, and you can see I shot, I, I go back and forth, so that way I don't get stagnant and shooting the same thing. I shot it with my rifle a little bit too. Um, and this one, I think it was on my last run, I called this, I thought it was still in, but I got a Charlie on my, on my second run there. So, um, still good, I'm happy with that, the times uh, under eight. I've been running them about eight consistently. Uh, my low seven runs, I'm pushing. That's where I'm getting the no shoots and where I'm getting some misses or some makeups on the steel, especially. Uh, but something to think about. A stage like this is really simple to set up. Um, 10 shots is what it takes. Three paper, four steel. Um, you can obviously vary it up. And uh, I'm just have three shooting positions and I'm trying to move on all of them. They're difficult. These targets, oh, I didn't tell you. These targets are about uh, 10 on the inside of 10 yards and then uh, the paper right there is set seven from where I'm shooting it maybe six from the poles uh, and then uh, those 
the steel targets are definitely more than seven, about eight. But anyways, any variation, I'm gonna switch it up and uh, I'm just pushing myself to move, even on the uh, paper um, and the steel, just difficult targets, moving away from, moving into. Um, and you can set up something similar so I can go, it's kind of like a mirror image, so I can run it the same way both ways and see where, see where I'm missing or at least see where my deficiencies are. And that's the goal, working on what you need to work on. So where am I missing, where am I deficient? And I'm gonna work on that. So be prepared mentally when you go into practice like that or something like this where you wanna see what you suck at. So that way it, you want it to be exposed. So that way you can start working on it and make that a strength. Uh, it ha it's been all said before, I'm not reinventing the world by any means. Um, it's just something that, this, seems simple enough that a lot of people might be able to set up um, especially using some poles these are really easy uh you can online look them up as boundary poles i think or something i get a lot of questions about that but yeah these are poles i shoot them i've broken a couple um, but they're cheap they're like 25 30 bucks i think they might have gone up who knows um but then of course the targets super simple setup targets usa check them out and uh yeah if you have any questions let me know and if you have questions about what i'm shooting you can, go on, uh, you can go on my YouTube channel um, and check out a full review of what I'm shooting. And we've got some big things coming up with this. Uh, so you'll want to stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, any questions, obviously hit me up, let me know. And I hope to see you out on the range. All right, good luck, guys.